hello everyone welcome once again and in this video I am going to be talking about actually you know uh, graph and in the previous video I have shown you that how can you create a graph using C sharp and uh, I told you that how can you give manual values like this so in this video the specific thing is that you're gonna be giving those values that you have given manually previously so now you're gonna be giving those values via your database if you're not familiar with database this mysql database that we have used in our project previously in our previous videos then i would recommend you to watch my previous videos go and watch them and then come to this video okay then you you will be having a better understanding with that okay so let's get started and let's see what we can do to actually you know create graph from our database so first of all uh, you know this code is of no use for me right now so I'm just gonna be commenting all of that code like this using static and then backslash and now these lines are commented so if you won't do that so whatever you will be writing next will be a comment but if you will you know stare and backslash then this uh, you know this thing will not have an impact on this so if you will not put these two things then what is gonna happen is until this bracket it's gonna comment so you have stopped your comment right here okay so from the very next line what I need to do uh, I actually need to comment my you know uh, you know my I need to connect my database with my code okay so for that purpose what I will do I will write simple code using a string first of all I need to define a string and then I'll be defining my connection and I need to put my credentials in of my connection and those are data source and that is equal to localhost right and the next thing is important and that is a port so if I go to my database then you can see that right here it has given me the port 8080 because I have connected my database to, uh, through this port and I'm using this port so I'm gonna be giving that port in my code and uh, that is 8080 and my username that I have chosen for my uh, MySQL is root and password is also root so you have to set all these things accordingly okay so whatever your database is and whatever you have given to it okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to define my SQL connection and I'm gonna be finding that from here my SQL connection and name it as a variable con database is equal to new mysql connection and inside in here i am going to be passing that string that is connection okay so you can do that in one line you can simply in here you can copy paste that and just you know paste here so it will work okay so it's gonna be work both ways all right so the next thing that you are going to do you are going to define a mysql command so the first two lines simply what i have done i have connected my database i have you know put my credentials in and then i actually connected my database right here this mysql connection command will connect my database okay this will not connect this is just you know a variable having credentials this is the actual class that will connect my database okay so mysql command cmd this is the basically variable name you can say cmd database and then I am just going to do that new mysql command and in here I am gonna be passing my query whatever my query will be so in that case I just need to identify or select my table actually from my database select steric from my database name is actually database here so I will write here 
database dot i have to give here the name of my table also so in here name of my table is employees so i will be writing here employees okay so after that if you are familiar with the sql language i hope you are be you will be familiar with that so i'm just going to be put putting a colon that is for sql command okay it doesn't have to do anything with c sharp code it actually this semicolon has to do with something with sql code all right so then i'm going to be putting a comma and after that i'll be passing con database that shows that this connection has to do something with this query okay so i have to integrate that and then what i need to do i just need to define a reader my sql reader so if you are familiar with reader then you must know that my sql reader uh, sorry data reader it must be yes data reader actually yeah so my sql data reader my reader and after that i have to no sorry in here i just i am just going to be needing this variable so i don't need to define it as a new or something uh, i'm just going to be needing a variable it is a data type here okay i'm going to be using that as a data type all right so after this what i am going to be needing i'm going to be needing a try catch block if somehow any exception occurs in that case i have to make sure that it shows the exact problem on the screen because that's what you do while you're connecting your database with your code because whenever a problem occurs it could be anything it could be you know wrong port number it could be you know something else it could be you know you have given a, a wrong password wrong username in that case what it will do it will just simply execute the code it will not show you the error exact error so for that purpose i have to add try catch block and after that what it it will do it will try the code and if that code is not executed then what is going to happen that it is going to execute the catch block and catch block act actually contains the error and it will display Uh, it will display it on your screen okay so let's get started with try catch block for that purpose i just have to write try you know curly brackets on and off and then i need to actually open my connection okay so i'll write here con database open and after that what i need to do i will write here my reader that i have defined earlier so i'm going to be putting it equal to cmd database dot execute query yes execute query um execute reader i think not query yes execute reader so what it is going to do it will be executing this query right here okay so i have written here my credentials and whatever i want to do here so actually my connection will actually be working right here so first of all my try catch block will open my connection and make sure and will make sure that uh, my database actually connected and open and after that what is going to what it is going to do it will be executing the query that i have done right here so you can see cmd database here the variable name this variable name is going to execute my actual query and after that i have to write while while my reader dot read read is basically a function and what it will do it will make sure that all the values in from database has been integrated via my c sharp code so dot read function what it will do it will come here first check the john okay so it will take it and after that the reader will come here on james on number 2 and it will take it 
to the graph and then it will come to 3 then it will check that whether 4 is there or not if there then it will come to 4 similarly it's gonna check 5 if 5 is here then it will come to 5 and in the end when it will reach 12 what it's gonna do sorry I have given an empty value so I'm just you know doing this okay so I'll just need to delete this row first sorry for the interruption okay now the, all the things are fine so it will come here and in the end when it will come on 11 it will check whether 12 has something or not if it has something it will go and then when it will come here then you can see there is nothing here so my reader will check if here there is something then it will go on and if there is nothing you can see that there is nothing so there my reader will stop so that's what exactly my reader do okay so once again I'm making sure that you will not forget that this while loop will run until and unless it reach this bottom line it reaches at the end point of your data okay or in your database right so I hope you have got the concept here thank you so much for listening and the next thing is this dot and now uh, I'll go to my form select my this graph and we'll see whatever the name is and the name of my you know graph is chart one so I'll copy that and I'll go back to my code and paste here this dot chart one and then I'll be writing here series okay so I have actually named my series as age here so I'm gonna be using that okay so if you are familiar with my previous video then you'll know that I have you know give it given it a name as age series so in order to know that you have to watch my previous video and after that dot points right and after points I'm gonna be adding add XY so this add XY will be taking two values actually so on graph I'm gonna be showing my name and also I'm gonna be showing my age from my database okay so let's get it done so actually if I have to show three values then I will most probably I'll be giving XYZ so in here uh, I just need to show two values on graph so I'll just be writing add XY but before that I have to define two variables uh, I could define two variables or something but uh, you know I'll go directly because I like that way and that line will get longer but you need not to worry you can you know get it into pieces uh, so that you it will you know become easy for you but if you do it that way it will be fine okay so let's write here my reader and my reader dot get string so yes and if you are familiar with this actually ename here ename so what I will be writing in here my column name and that is ename so I'll write here e name and why I did that because in here if you see that here yes mm, yep here my e name is having a war car war car data type and age is having int data type right so for that purpose what I am going to do I will just you know type here dot get string to convert it to string 
okay so that whatever the value is if it is string then it's okay fine but if it is not string then you have to do it okay so if it is string then you can also do that it will not cause any problem okay so same like that I'm gonna be showing you into you know int for age so you can see that age is integer so I'll be converting it into int and there will be no problem with that so I will write here my reader dot get int 32 um, I'm sorry for that int 32 oops int 32 and in here I'm gonna be passing the value the second value of my column that I'm going to show and that is here age okay so age so I'm gonna be writing here age so now we are pretty much done here hope you have got the concept about all the code because I have explained each and everything in detail right so let's get started and go ahead and run our program so uh, it is saying that you have some error what error oh yes I didn't create any you know catch block so so sorry for that actually I forgot to create a catch block so when you are when you are writing a try block it is necessary to create a catch block okay so do not ever forget that like me I just completely forgot to create a try catch uh, sorry catch block so I'll be writing here message box dot show and in here I'm gonna be using that ex variable above so now I will run my program and uh, before running I remember something that I should delete this uh, this age or marks thing this marks thing because I'm just needing age so I'll go to series and I'll click here and I'll delete this uh, marks so remove this and you will see that it is removed right now and now we'll run our program and it will ask us to put some credentials so I will put here my credentials and login done so login successful and when I will create a graph it is showing me some kind of warning data is null this method or property cannot be called on null values so I have done a little bit research on that so you have to actually you know write uh, to check that DB is null or not so the only way to do that is uh, this okay so I am actually you know really not uh, getting into that so it's on you so I am leaving it on you so search that and if anyone of you know that please also tell me because I'm also a student so leave that in the comments below and thanks for watching this video I hope you have learned something new so there is only one mistake and that is you have to make sure that your values are not null and for that uh, I'm, I'm telling you that there is a function to check my uh, my reader dot uh, db is null like that so just just go and uh, you know study about that uh, I hope you have learned something new and thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe bye for now